Hello YouTube and welcome to another Proxmox tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to lower the power usage of your Proxmox server. So are you ready? Let's do that. So first thing first, why do you need to lower actually the power usage of your Proxmox server? So obviously it's for power efficiency reasons. Because as you may have actually a Proxmox home lab on your home, you can also have a Proxmox running on a mini PCs that actually require a battery as a power source. And I have seen also many users who actually run their Proxmox server on actually laptops that have batteries, okay? So as I told you, they may be in need for power efficiency reasons to do that okay so in this video i'm going to show you a very simple tools that was actually created by intel in order to do that okay so this tool is actually called power top okay so what is power top so power top is a linux command line utility that is designed to help you tweaking and lowering power consumption okay so it provides a really cool way to view power usage what consuming power on your linux server okay and as you may guess proxmox actually is based on debian linux so we can use actually this tool in order to do that so let's install it and see what we can do with it okay so in order to install this power top or power top command line utility it's pretty simple you go to your shell and you simply run the command apt install power top so it's pretty easy command you can do that so here we have the question do you want to continue so of course we want and our actually power tool has been installed so let's run it and see what we get so as i told you powertop is a free and open source utility developed by intel to monitor power consumption on linux okay so this tool is able to display and export also report about the estimated discharge rate statistics about uh, processors and device behavior okay so let's run it now so in order to run it pretty simple we just type power top okay here we go and as you can see it displays many actually tabs so there is an overview tab and idle statistics tab frequency statistic also tab device statistic tunable and wake up so these are all the tab you get when you are running this tool okay so we're gonna explain every tab what it can do and how you can actually tweak it okay so actually you can navigate between tab just uh, actually hitting the tab button in your keyboard so if i hit my tab button here on my keyboard i can go to idle statistics tab for example frequency statistics device statistics to enable and wake up and of course i return back to the overview tab okay so let me explain just briefly what does each tab displays okay so in the overview tab we can find information about the battery discharge rate the estimated remaining time and cpu usage okay so you can see that the output is organized in four columns so there is usage column events per second column category and description okay in the usage column we can find the estimated usage of a resource so generally expressed in millisecond per second or microsecond per second or packets per seconds if we are displaying information about the network interface for example in the events per second column we can see the wake ups generated by the resources 
ok in the third and fourth columns you can find categories and description so we can see actually the type of uh, resources so we have uh, devices we have uh, process we have timers and key work on other things okay so now let's move on to the idle stats and frequency stats tabs actually so these tabs report information about frequencies and C states operating mode the CPU is running at okay so the higher the C states and the time spent by the processor in it the less power consumption so you have to actually keep that in your mind so let's now move to the device stats commands so the, in the device stats tab actually we can find information similar to those reported in the overview but just for devices and now let's move on to the most important tab which is actually the tunable tab so in this tunable tab it contains a series of power saving features suggested by PowerTop and their respective states so either you will find bad or good so in order to toggle the state of tunable we can simply select it and press enter the action performed under the hood is displayed in the interface so for example I can just move on using my uh, keyboard arrow keys here to select specific feature for example let's select this one here enable SATA link power management for host 0 and I will hit enter easy as that and you can see that now uh, the action performed under the hood is displayed so in this example here for example when I hit enter there is an echo an empty string will be written to the link power management actually policy file okay so let's do the same for example for the one above it so I will select it with my arrow key and hit enter so you can see this the state changes from bad to good so I can do that in order to tweak all the bad actually uh, states that I have on my Proxmox server here okay so I can do the same for all the other that I have here simple as that okay so now I guess everything has been toggled to the state of good so you can see how easy it is to do that there is also a command that you can perform so if I exit this interface here for example using as you see here on the bottom the escape key okay so I can do the same using just an option here so I will just type power top but I will add option here auto tune so this option actually has the same effect as what we have did before with toggling from the bad state to a good state okay so let's go once again to our final tab that we didn't actually discuss which is the wake up tab so in this tab we can manually toggle the wake status of each reported device manually again by selecting it using the arrow keys and hitting enter for example if i want to enable the wake online status for device en01 i can just select it and hit enter and if voila state has been changed from disabled to enabled 
and finally you can also uh, generate reports so power tool is able to generate status exportable reports both in csv or html format so for example if you want to generate an html uh, report you can just type power tool dash dash html okay and the report will be actually generated okay so let me see where the file actually exists it's on slash root so if I do a list you can see there is a file here powertop.html that we can actually view so if I use any uh, actually uh, FTP client to download the file here powertop so I will download it to my desktop and see what I get okay so let's open it now so this is the file so let's open it using chrome yes and this is our report generated by powertop okay so in this video we just learned how to install and use powertop and some of the most used Linux distribution. So this tool allows you to monitor and drive power usage statistics and apply some uh, suggested power saving tweaks, okay? And of course, it's very useful for many PCs or mobile devices that are running actually a Proxmox server. So if you found this uh, video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content and of course if you have any suggestion for the future video drop them in the comment below as always i hope it has been informative for you and i'd like to thank you for viewing bye bye